Well, congressional hearings, the ones on Capitol Hill, they're often boring. You see them on C-SPAN, but one plan for next month is already sparking protest. The subject, radical Islam. Uh, Congressman Peter King, a Republican of Long Island, he chairs the Homeland Security Committee. He's planning hearings on the radicalization of some Muslim Americans. Now, pro protesters for and against King's plans came out to his district office yesterday, about 100 people. It got loud at times. There's concern that the hearings will unfairly single out Muslims. Haven't we seen terrorists from other religions, they say? Jared Loftner, the alleged Tucson gunman. Timothy McVeigh, the Oklahoma City bomber. They want the hearings broadened to include radicalization from any group. Joining us now on the phone is the Congressman Peter King. Welcome back to Good Day New York, sir. Great, good to be with you. How are you? Terrific. Uh, what do you hope to accomplish with these hearings? One, to uh, establish and to show to the American people that there is a real threat uh, of al-Qaeda recruiting and also uh, homegrown terrorists being self-radicalized within the Muslim community. Now, let me say, the overwhelming majority of Muslims are outstanding Americans, but Eric Holder has said that he get, uh, stays awake at night, he can't sleep because of the growing number of young Muslim men who are willing to take up arms against their country. Uh, John Napolitano said just last week when she testified the threat level is higher at any time since 9-11 because of the homegrown terrorist threat. And that threat comes from within the Muslim community. And I would be absolutely remiss in my responsibility as Homeland Security Committee Chairman if I didn't investigate that. What would be the problem with expanding the probe, with expanding uh, the subject matter? We did have Jared Loeffner, the alleged gunman in Tucson. He was motivated by, we're really not sure what, but it does not appear that he was motivated by radical Islam. Why not take a look uh, at other sources of radicalization? Because that would suggest there's some equivalency of threat here. The fact is the overwhelming threat to the United States comes from al-Qaeda and its affiliates. Uh, the, any mu Muslims who are radicalized in this country are affiliated with a foreign enemy. We've always had uh, uh, radicals here or there. We've had neo-Nazis. We've had environmentalists. We've had people involved in both sides of the abortion movement. The fact is that the Department of Homeland Security was created uh, because of the attacks of 9-11. The Committee on Homeland Security was attacked uh, was created because of the attacks of 9-11. And the bottom line is that uh, when we look at the risk, the overwhelmingly large risk comes from al-Qaeda. If, for instance, uh, the neo-Nazis become a significant threat in the future, we would investigate them. But to be uh, spending all our time uh, just uh, diffusing the hearing by somehow saying that environmentalists are as much a threat as al-Qaeda is absolute insanity. There was a pretty big scene outside your office yesterday, and I think one of the reasons why some people came out is because of your, well, your past comments. You know, you have caused controversy before. We're not ambushing you here. You know this. Back in 2007, you were quoted by Politico as saying there were too many mosques in America. You also hasten to add that there are too many radical Islamists in America, and maybe one is too many. But you did say that at one point. There are too many mosques in America. No, what I said was there are too many mosques in America which don't cooperate with law enforcement, and I stand by that. That, that to me, is one of the things we would bring out at the hearing. And anyone, if, if you look at the entire interview, it said there's too many mosques in America, too many mosques which don't cooperate with law enforcement. I have visited mosques over the years. I have never said a word about the Muslim religion. I've always said it's a great religion. I've never gotten into the Koran. I've never gotten into Sharia law or any of that. I'm talking about people in the community. So, no, I've never said there are too many mosques in America. I said there are too many mosques that don't cooperate with law enforcement, and that I stand by. Okay, there was one, there, there, there seemed to be, it depends how you listen to the, the comment, you know, that there was a period after the too many mosques in America, but you did add right away that uh, there are too many uh, Muslim, radical Muslim sympathizers. I don't think anybody really had a huge uh, problem with that part of your statement. No, actually, Let me, I, I, go I, ahead. I, Gregory, I, said, I said there are too many mosques in America, comma, there are too many mosques which don't cooperate. I used the exact same term, too many mosques at the beginning and at the end. Right, I think that it's the punctuation, I hate right, to split right. hairs. Right. Uh, listen, um, are you worried a little bit that the spectacle we already have one the protest you know could mar your hearings next month i mean uh, it, it's one thing if they're sober and deliberative and you know uh, serious but if you have people interrupting uh, that kind of thing it, it looks like you may have a spectacle on your hands well if any spectacle comes it's not going to come from me i have uh, i have I, we've spent months preparing for these hearings i've had uh, investigators uh, talking to literally dozens of prospective witnesses from my uh, end, this hearing is going to be conducted in a dignified, orderly way, but I can't allow people to be carrying on uh, to you know, disrupt the hearing or to bring it down. For instance, yesterday, I had nothing to do with the demonstrations. I had a group coming out to demonstrate against me. 
So others came to say, demonstrate for me. I'm not involved in that. To me, this issue is too important for demonstrations. I know there's going to be a large demonstration in Times Square next week against me. Fact is, all I can do is control the hearing. And I'm telling you that as far as the witnesses are concerned, it'll be done in an orderly way. Anyone who disrupts the hearing is going to be ejected. But I can't allow a mob rule to bring down the hearing. The fact that somebody may threaten to disrupt the hearing, that can't prevent me from holding the hearing. Congressman Peter King, Republican from Long Island. Thanks for being back on Good Day New York. Thank you, Greg. Okay, see you later. A prayerful protest on Long Island today against hearings about homegrown terrorism. But there was opposition. New York Congressman Peter King wants to investigate why Muslims are becoming more radical here in the U.S. But as CBS 2's Dimitra Ganyas shows us, some Muslims say those controversial hearings will give them a bad name. A pray-in outside Congressman Peter King's office on Long Island. Muslims, Jews, and Christians gathered to tell him, stop targeting Muslims and cancel hearings on what King calls the radicalization of Muslim Americans. A bomb doesn't differentiate between a Muslim and a non-Muslim. We are just as afraid of extremism. Muslims fear the hearings will demonize peaceful members of their faith. If you want to talk about terrorism or extremism, it should be about everyone. I'm not going to back down. Political correctness has gone too far. King says he's obligated to investigate and adds the overwhelming majority of Muslim Americans are outstanding Americans. The fact is there is an element within that community, as there is in all communities, which is threatening the United States. The difference with this is they were allied with an overseas enemy, Al-Qaeda. King points to homegrown terrorists. Faisal Shahzad, the man behind the failed Times Square bombing in May 2010, believed to have been financed by the Pakistani Taliban. In November 2009 at Fort Hood, Texas, American-born Muslim Nidal Malik Hassan allegedly killed 13 people. Today, a counter-protest to support King's hearings. This war on terror is not some campaign overseas. It goes on today, right here. Congressman King is taking action on this. For people to call him Islamophobe or a bigot is, is ridiculous. Still, those against the hearings vow to continue praying for a change of heart. In Massapequa, Long Island, Dimitri Ganyas, CBS 2 News. Congressman King is chairman of the Homeland Security Committee. The hearings are scheduled for March 10th in Washington, D.C. Well, prayer and protests outside the Long Island office of Congressman Peter King. Two sides were demonstrating for and against King's controversial plans to hold hearings on what he calls Muslim radicalization. Now, he says the testimony is not meant to target Muslims, just would-be terrorists. Some religious groups want him to cancel the hearings, but King is not backing down. I can tell everyone right now I'm not backing down. I'm going ahead with these hearings. There is a real threat coming from certain elements of the Muslim community. And as chairman of the Homeland Security Committee, I have to investigate it. The hearings are set to begin the second week of March. Ernie. The 